All right, so right off the rip here, guys, what are you actually getting for this $900 a month? Well, you're getting a one bed, one bath, 720 square foot house, okay? Uh, you're not getting the garage. The garage is not part of it, okay? That's just, that's, for, that's something that I use. Because you're actually right here on a half acre lot shared with me. Um, I'm in the front house, you know, you'd be in the back house. But anyway, the $900 a month includes power, it includes water, sewer, trash, lawn maintenance and we have fully furnished this house which you'll you'll see in just a minute um another thing i want to tell you about so one option one parking spot would be there's there's several around here pretty much from anywhere from about here back really is fine uh but this would be a good spot the last fellow that was in the house I, I hate that he he took off you know he had to he had work issue so he had to go to back to florida but he parked in the back, which worked out fine, worked out great. But, you know, you can park along the fence back here. So parking's not really a major issue. Um, the biggest reason, it, it, you guys are going to notice that I'm actually going to just cut to some old footage of the interior. And it's because the interior is pretty much exactly the same. Other than I did have to switch out refrigerators. I'm actually about to do that right after I make this video. So let's cut to that new refrigerator or, or different refrigerator than you're going to see uh, in the video here shortly. So let's, let's cut to this refrigerator. Yeah, so this is actually the fridge freezer uh, that you're going to have inside of this little one bed, one bath. Um, I haven't switched it out just yet. Uh, I got plenty of time because as I mentioned in the ad, this one bedroom, one bath isn't even available until June 1st. And so anyway, as you can see, it works fine. The problem with the fancier one that you're about to see in the video, again, it's old footage, uh, is that it wanted to leak. And I won't bore you with that, but this one doesn't leak. This one works fine. Yeah, it isn't quite as pretty, but it is what it is it'll do the job and so yeah that refrigerator is uh is the one that's actually in there it's not the french door that you're going to see a little bit later in this video again i used some old footage from the last time i did this uh you know back to out here uh, so so this is where that last fella parked and it worked out perfectly because i don't get back here very much i mean i obviously do come back here my little shed when i have to get into it and i'm i'm you know, I kind of have a little bit of a mess over there at times. Nothing too totally outrageous. But you are on a, a shared property. And so I will be using all of the land at different times. So just beware of that. So there's not really much more to say about it, guys. Let's get inside. And, uh, of course, if you have any questions about anything, you're going to have my email here shortly in the video. It's going to pop up on the screen. You could leave a comment on the YouTube right here. I mean, you have, obviously, this has been listed on Marketplace. So you could just message me there. But let's cut to it and let's take a look at the inside. We'll enter in the front and we'll land right in the living room. Let's just go in here and look around. All pre-wired for... TV, wall mount stays, you just got to bring your own TV. Uh, we do get a good angle here. Here we go. So, does come with a sectional. That's a power recliner on either side. That one, that one there, it uh, reclines back and, and power, powers your feet up. This one on this side, it just, it just leans back. Uh, the curio cabinet stays. Everything you're seeing pretty much stays. I mean, there's, this is what we're providing. That curio is attached to a light switch. So, meaning that there are outlets in here controlled by a light switch, and that's how you turn that light on and off over there. Ceiling fan in here. Um, you know, nothing much else to really show you in here. But uh, that gray door actually leads to the garage. That's blocked off. Like I said, access to the garage is not part of the rent. 
uh, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna notice this place has been lived in. There's a couple of dings here and there. We can notate that, uh, but it's not a, not a big deal for me anyway. Uh, this, this white door, this is, uh, this is just a broom closet, a little extra storage. Yeah. Um, washer and dryer set up, hot water heater. It's kind of all utilitarian on this side. Uh, well, we're in the kitchen now, but let me show you the back porch really quick. So, like I say, this is the river. You can see the river over there, which is probably going to get a little bit higher. We've got rain coming in the next several days. Uh, another shot of the backyard. So, you know, plenty of room for a little table and some chairs. Put a grill out here. Uh, you, you know, you're seeing all that hot mess over there. And again, a lot of that's going to get cleared up. I'm going to move that burning barrel down to, you know, over there closer to the shed or somewhere in that area. You know, th this will look a little bit better by the time you move in. But just keep in mind, I do have projects going on all the time. So, it is what it is. All right, back in the kitchen... Uh, I just put this new stove in. We had an old 40-inch stove in here, so yeah, I wasn't really thrilled with that. It was an older, older stove, so we got this brand new stove we just set in place, and plenty of cabinetry in here, yeah, especially for one or two people. Um, we've left a couple of things in here, and yeah, whatever. If you decide you don't really care, you know, if you don't really care to use these utensils or whatever, we can always get them, get rid of them. But you know, if you can use them, great. That's fine too. Eating kitchen. There's a table, two chairs. Nice French door refrigerator. I love that freezer on bottom. All right, so let's check out the bathroom. Let you guys have seen some still shots. If you're this far into the video, I'm sure you looked at the pictures on the ad as well, but why not get some video? Do a little walk around and see what we see. Nice walk-in shower. You know, fresh paint job in here. So, all right, into the bedroom we go. Queen size bed, couple of nightstands. And we're providing a chest of drawers there. So, there's a ceiling fan in this room as well. And you do have a walk-in closet. Not a huge house. Little one bed, one bath. 720 square feet. It was built in uh, 2015. So, there isn't... Actually hasn't been lived in in a couple of years now. But... Uh, you know, so all the systems are in pretty good shape. Shouldn't have any trouble with them anytime real soon. This room as well, you know, we also designed this room to where one of your light switches here actually controls two outlets in this room. So you can set up lamps or I want to say that outlet is one of them that is controlled uh, by that light switch. And there's another one in there somewhere too. So that's the gist of it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, and pop uh, our email address on the video here now. And if you find this place interesting, if you think it's somewhere you might like to live, send me a, send me a request for an application.
we'll get it over to you. You know, you'll end up having to probably print it off and and scan it back into your 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 desktop there and and uh, you know send it back to me that way. Um, I'll, I'll leave my contact info in there as well, and we can figure it all out <clears throat> as to how to get you to apply. There is no application fee, so that's nothing to really worry about. All right, well, we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, like I say, if you have any comments or, or questions, there's a variety of ways to touch base with me. My phone number's in the email. You can also write me an email. You can leave a comment on this YouTube video. It'll all be notified to me. Uh, you know, this phone will tell me whichever way you want to get in touch. All right, we hope to hear from you soon.